insert a radar chart in MS Excel. Suppose you have a multiple data sets available and that you want to compare it right side by side that time we can use it. It's very simple. I find this technique is very useful and easy to make you understand. So that's what I pick this up as an example. Select any of the sales go into this insert and then recommended chart click on all charts. There is option called radar select radar and then simply just select this chart and then OK. As soon as you hit OK, you could see the result has been imported. Now, if you want to see it individually, you can see the individual as well. You just simply need to drag it like this one to one comparison, one to three comparison. OK, so and so forth. OK, so basis that you can easily do it. So this is the effective use of radar chart and this is really effectively used in statistics. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead. Updating a rack status is very easy. Okay, one of my colleague was doing this manual task. He was updating the color like this and then so and so forth. So instead of doing this manual stuff, simply just select this entire column, go into a home ribbon tab. There is an option called conditional formatting and then data scales. Here, if you could see, there are ample amount of options available, right? Other colors as well red white and blue you can add that scale as well if in case you have a specific requirement simply just click on more rule and then three color scale simply i'll just say number 30 then it's red for me 50 is amber and highest would be say 100 would be a green for me and accordingly this automatically numbers will get changed and you don't need to do a manual task updating a colors. I hope you found this useful folks. So please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. In Excel, stop calculating a manual year, month and day. Okay, with the help of simple formula, you can do that. How it is? Simply just add a dated if function start a comma your end month or year, whatever date you have, right? And then add a year press enter you could see the result has been displayed cool likewise this now we want a month if a date end date double inverted comma month cool if start comma don't skip this video because at the end I'll show you the bonus tip calculate a age of the particular employee that time we use this formula dated if start end and the year this will help us to calculate a age as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead. Scatter plot, how we can forecast our data. This formula is basically when we add a scatter plot, that time we get this formula. Select a this two column, go into the chart section and then scatter plot aside, trend line, and then there is an option called linear forecast. Cool. As soon as you insert a linear forecast, one line dotted line would be here. Right click, okay, format trend line, okay, as you display equation on chart and then close it. As soon as you click OK, you will get this formula added here. Simply just copy this formula and then paste it over here. Okay. This is your Y variable and this is your X variable, which multiply that with the time series, which is this. As soon as you hit OK, you will get a result like this and then simply just insert the result. And this is your forecast final one suppose you have a data set like this week until week 4 and 2 3 4 correct product name and the sales amount 50, 50 to 107 right those criteria needs to be added in a group 1 so what I'll do I'll just say group 1 copy paste okay I'll just check it's in a manual task box so instead of doing this manual task simply just click on this any of the cell click here histogram you could see many product category added into so and so category. Likewise, we can do it. This histogram. In this histogram, we can see a week-wise bifurcation. In which week trend we are having a maximum product sell. Cool. So week three and week two, we have a maximum product sell. Week one and week four, we have a low. So this is how we can analyze our data with the help of histogram. This is one of the effective way to analyze your data. Suppose we have a data set like this week one, two, three and four. We just want to see a high and low. 
data points that time we use this uh, scatter plot simply what you need to do for that week one and sales amount just select it like this okay go into the insert click on the recommended chart as soon as you click on recommended chart you will get a scatter like this cool just insert it as soon as you insert ensure that you are selecting this point okay and then click here and then data label likewise select this data label and then this is the last one this is how you can compare a data right week wise sales amount week on week and which is high which is low right on scatter plot How to use a Kaizen in your daily resume activity, right? At the time of quality, at the time of production, first step is that engage employee, gather ideas and suggestion. First step. Second, Second step, step, identify the problem, compile the data and identify the issue. What is happening exactly? Analysis basis on the identified data. Okay, ensure that you are doing a analysis on that particular data set, and make sure that you know relevancy of the data is truth data source cool solution suggest at least two to three solutions basis the problem you have identified implement as per the need and the feasibility implement that result evaluate the solution effectiveness it's really important folks standardization standardization it nothing but a continuous improvement cycle ploy successfully and keep improving on timely basis insert a hyperlink and how to remove that simple task first i'll insert a hyperlink i'll simply press ctrl k and i insert this hyperlink okay you could see this power has been added right i want to remove this hyperlink simply i just right click and then remove hyperlink okay ctrl z again ctrl k cool you can remove from here as well remove hyperlink okay third type simply click on this option clear and then link okay simply here if you could see the eraser has been added you can either click on this clear hyperlink only or maybe you can simply click on this clear hyperlink and formats okay i'll simply first click this now you could see the hover has been gone put this cursor over here again simply clear hyperlink and then clear hyperlink and formats now the text has been converted into the us format so this is how beautiful function about hyperlink In Excel, you see this Roman's number, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so on and so forth, right? How we can add that with the help of simple formula? It's a very simple task to do, folks, okay? Simply just add a is equal to sign and then type Roman, okay? What is the number? So number is this, bracket close, press enter. And then just press it like this. You could see the Roman number series has been imported automatically with the help of single formula. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead. Remaining right. So here, what I'll do is just simply merge this first okay? and I'll say is equal to today, and I simply say three sixty five days. Okay, from today, day of the marriage is twenty seventh zero six twenty twenty five. If I want to check a days remaining, what I'll do, I just simply select this is equal to this minus. Let me just add a appropriate formula like this. Go here and just say number. Here, what I have did, I have just added a data validation. This is this friends and family and yes and no. Suppose this is the invitee for me, right? I have sent this invite. Yes. Okay. Received no. And so forth. I have a relationship between this. So I'll just say friends and this is the family, so on and so forth. Cool. So this is how we can create a own customized wedding invitation tracker, which will help us to understand how many invitees are there and to whom we have invited for the wedding. 
in daily resume activity when we are using any kind of a tool right more frequently that time we can use this option simply i frequently use undo cut button right save and i want right now conditional formatting as well so i'll simply click customize quick access toolbar as soon as i hit simply just click on this uh, option conditional formatting and then just add it like this suppose i want a custom sorting i can add that as well decrease the font size i'll insert that too okay and then simply i'll just click okay so like this custom sort and then this pop up will come okay and then i'll do a sorting like this cool so this is the most frequently used tools we can easily add in the quick access toolbar it's a very simple task to do folks suppose we have a data set like this and we want to categorize this data in a way right so leadership can access this data in which particular quarter we have this profit or maybe the loss right so how we can do that simply just select this content and then add a pivot table i have did uh, simply over the dates over here and then products and then simply just right click okay first of all refresh this data okay because i made some changes right so now you can see 1 2 3 4 like this simply just right click group and then click here quarters and then year carefully observe as soon as i hit okay you can see for the year this particular year right we have this quarter 1 quarter 2 and quarter 3 cool so i haven't made any kind of a changes in the existing data however in the visualization itself at one simple click we got a quarter wise bifurcation added every time when we access a data that time we check if in case there is a duplicate entries available or not right so in home ribbon tab there is an option called conditional formatting and then we go usually highlight cell rule and then duplicate cell right this is the duplicate entries i can see it over here right now i want to remove this duplicate entry how we can remove that don't do it manually simply just go into the data ribbon tab and then there is the option called remove duplicates okay so we can eliminate this duplicate entries simply just click over here remove duplicate and make sure that you are selecting this option my data has a header and say okay simply just click on okay you could see at a simple step okay you have removed a duplicate control shift l okay you can add a filter like this say alt dff okay so second step here in data as well there is an option called filter you can apply from here as well and the fourth step which is the formula driven simply just type is equal to filter and then what is the array so this is the array for you select data range what you need to include you want to include a this so include this is equal to this particular sign comma if in case it's empty then i want a blank just press enter cool you could see you have simply added a specific criteria based filterization how to import a scatter plot in ms excel it's a very simple task to do folks this is the table which i needed and this is the title for me product a product b and quarter wise details simply just select this any of the cell and then scatter you could see there are variety of options available right you can pick this this data visualization skills okay we can pick that up i want this so i'll just simply just select this make it small and then turn on the data label option you can see fruit sales product a it's in line blue and fruit sales product b it's in product b so this is how we can insert a scatter plot in ms excel thanks for watching have a great day ahead data conditions like this okay you have a product a to until product e okay these are the data sets and these are the product category cool now you want to analyze this simply just go into the insert ribbon tab and there is an option called line just select this range 
and just say OK and drag it down like this. At the top, you can see the multiple colors points available for you or maybe the styles. You can pick it out from here. We can also select columns as well. Column and then just select this again. Hit enter like this. And then if I want to change a design of this, I can change that too. Likewise, you can do it for win loss as well. Hope now you understood how Sparkline works in MS Excel. This will help you to visualize your data. Correct. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead. Simply just select any of the cell, go into the insert and then there is an option called Pi of Pi. Cool. We can simply just select that. Now you can see there are two pies has been inserted. Now what is that exactly? So if you could see right over here, Ranvij is the this particular section. We have it and then likewise we have Subiksha, Samiksha, Rohit, okay, Arnav and Guru. Okay, Th these are the sum up. Um, calculation and we have got the bifurcation added in the next pie chart okay so in the chart style itself i will simply click on this particular option so here i can see the percentage has been assigned or maybe the sales has been made by the respective employee so let me just zoom in cool so this is how it looks like so very effective way Okay, we don't need to do here and there, right? I hope you found this useful, folks. So please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. This particular scenario, majority of the times when we do a interviews, right? That time this question asks how to find out a accuracy solution over here like this. So we have total 70 questions. Cool. How many errors we have made? It's made 14, right? So a is equal to sign. We need to do a this minus 14. So we got 56. Now we want to calculate a accuracy. It's a very simple. Simply just let me just highlight this and then like this white. And I simply say equal to first I'll say the correct answer divide by my total questions. Enter 0 0.8 and then simply just click on this option called percentage. You can see at simple click you will get the answer. The accuracy percentage is 80%. Next, let's do a stock analysis. It's a very simple task to do, folks. Suppose this is the data set we have. Date, high price, low price, and a close. Let me just convert this into the price. Okay, now this is the price segment added. Simply just select this, go into the insert tab, and there is an option called stock. Here, we simply click on this option called high, low, and close. Cool. Now, if you want to analyze that as per the day-wise, okay, I'll turn on the labels likewise. Cool. And the grid lines off. We don't need a grid lines. Cool. So this is how we can analyze our data in Excel. It's a very simple task. I hope you found this useful folks. So please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching.